then through how was able to see man of God and receive my healing through the help of a man of God. So since then, that's about nine years ago now, I've been working in the same company and I'm still uh, moving. So I was surprised to hear that I was not sick. So this is easy. I was surprised to hear that I was not sick. Even my co-workers knows I work with a UTC. Please, anybody that knows UTC can go there and find out if I, have been, I was sick before. So I was surprised that somebody called uh, Mr. Agomo goes about telling them that I was not sick. So I don't know him before. So I don't know why he goes about uh, blackmailing the man of God and myself. So my wife, my wife too will testify to that. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God is with us. My name is Joy EJ. Mrs. Joy EJ, Maswell, the man standing by my side. He's my husband. Nine years ago, we were here when he was sick. He can't walk from UCH Ibado. They brought him from Lagos here, where the man of God healed him. So since nine years, we've been living fine. Only a few days ago, I heard that Maswell is dead. He's dead that, uh, in short, the story I had about him. So someone said he bought a wheelchair for him. The, the wheelchair is not bought for him by any other person, by his colleagues in the working place. So I'm here. I'm surprised to hear that oh, Mr. Agamemnon is the one that provided him with the wheelchair. Now my husband is here. Since nine years ago, we have been living fine. May God forgive Agama for what he said, because since nine years now, I and my husband and my children, we are living to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Uh, thank God for my life. I, I even remember that after the healing here, I went to uh, Lagos Television, where I was interviewed there. Uh, at, at the uh, television house. So may God forgive him for all he has been said. May God forgive him. Both Mr. Maxwell E.J. and his wife testify to the miracle they received nine years ago in the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Suffering from paralysis of the whole body, Maxwell arrived at the church in the year 2000 in a wheelchair bought for him by his colleagues. This is a striking contrast to Ogomo's lie that he was the one who had bought the wheelchair for Maxwell, and that the family had been brainwashed into believing that if he did not sit on this wheelchair, he would not meet the man of God. The truth is that he came already in a wheelchair, unable to walk. After T.B. Joshua prayed for him, he stood up out of his wheelchair and miraculously began to walk. And for the last nine years, he has been walking and living freely surprised and shocked that someone they did not even know could spread such lies against the work of God at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Mr. E.J. and his wife advise all listening to beware of blasphemers such as Agomo. The advice I have for people out there for what Agomo have just did is that, that they should not listen to him. The devil that make him to do this type of thing to T.B. Joshua we not allow him to destroy other people's family. Because when I heard the news, self, I was shocked when my auntie come and see what is going on. I, my advice for those people listening or watching those uh, clips, they should not mind him. It's a lie. He's telling lie. He never did what he said to us. So we don't know him. We are from Delta State. We don't know. Mr. Agomo, Agomo did not know us. My advice to people is that uh, anybody, anybody that is in doubt of what uh, Prophet TV Joshua is doing should please come to a synagogue and think things for himself. Nobody should, not, should, nobody should be listening to Black Miller because I'm sure somebody is uh, using uh, Mr. Agomo to blackmail the 
the man of God and the church. So people should now watch him. They should come to synagogue and see what is what God is using to be Joshua in synagogue. So uh, 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 I am a testimony of uh, uh, the good uh, work of God, because God uh, delivered me through him. God used him to deliver me. So that's my advice. Jesus said in Matthew 26, verse 41, Watch and pray, so that you will not fall into temptation. If you were surprised by the last lie that Agomo had spread about the miracle of Maxwell E.J., and the testimony of Maxwell himself contradicting that lie, here is yet another. There's a woman we also call Mama Jaye Jaye from a place called Bini in Nigeria. I bought the wheelchair. The wheelchair again for high scent. Well, those, these four wheelchairs were being recycled among all the old people they bring. When they bring you, you will bring you to sit on wheelchair. Are we talking about, what are we talking, so many things, what we call cancer. Those things are not cancer. What are we talking, so many things, what we call cancer. Those things are not cancer. This is Agomo giving a blatant denial of the miracles taking place at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. And this is the same Agomo years earlier telling us what had convinced him to come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. My auntie, my uncle's wife, how God used my father, Prophet T.B. Joshua, to heal her of severe palpitation of the heart and high blood pressure. So she came back and told me, and told my uncle, I said, let us go. And since I came, I saw the truth, and I kept following him. You have just heard these two contradictory statements. A man who said it was the truth of the miracles that had brought him to the synagogue church of all nations is now denying the very miracles which had convinced him in the first place. In front of the congregation of one of the branches of the church, here he is avidly proclaiming the good news of God from his own 10 years of experience at the synagogue church of all nations. Please, what I'm saying is not I had, or it's like, I'm telling you, I'm a witness. I am telling you what I've been seeing for the past 10 years. If he comes here, oh, you will know that. You will know that if you meet an anointed man, you are blessed. If he meet you, you are blessed. If you pass him, you are blessed. If he passes you, you are blessed. Me, as for me personally, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here. I'm going to share from that blessing. I'm not tired of blessing me. I still need more of blessing from him. So you can imagine if I said he's coming with a lot of blessings, with the host of heaven, with the angels of heaven to visit you, and I'm saying I want to partake from your own blessings. That means I know what I'm saying. I'm not just talking. I'm talking out of experience. Is this the same man who came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations because he heard of the miracles, who testified for more than 10 years of these very miracles and is now denying that these miracles ever existed? This poses the question, what should be our response to such a man fraught with dubious inconsistencies and selfish ambition? In this case, we leave you to come to your own conclusion. Beware of blasphemers. This is part two.